you guys, it's Little Puppy 5 and today I'm going to be doing this pop and cooking kit and it's kind of like a taffy kit where you can make your own little candies. So here's what the box looks like. And here's what it comes with up here. It comes with sprinkles, these colors of taffy and a rolling pin. So it also tells you probably right here because I don't know how to read Japanese but to wash your hands. So I'll be doing that right now. So yeah, let's just get started with this kit. So here's what the um, sides look like. And I'm not sure what this says but if anyone knows what it says then please comment down below. I'd really like to know. So let's just open this up. So on the bottom it just has this little part where you can just lift it open. And by the way, unfortunately, my friend cannot make it here today, so she will not be in this video, but yeah, so it's out. So it just opens up to this, and yeah, so let's take the packet out. So this is what the packet on the inside comes in, and it just has some ideas that you could make. So there's eggs, a rainbow, pancakes, or cupcakes, and yeah, so it looks really fun to make. And now we're just going to cut this open. You can kind of see that there was, like, on here, like, a caterpillar and a panda, but yeah. So it automatically smells like lemonade, if any of you know what that smells like, kind of like soda. So I'm just going to pull this out. And it's actually pretty heavy, so yeah, so here's what everything looks like inside. So it just comes in this white tray, and here's what the colors look like. So there's this light blue, which these are actually really soft, so it's really cool. There's white, which got a bit misshaped, but yeah. A little tiny bit of black, some pink, and some yellow. So those are all the packets of taffy. It comes with this wooden rolling pin, and last, sprinkles. So yeah, that's what everything it comes with on the inside, so yeah, I'm really excited for this. Aside from those, I also have some other tools, so I have this toothpick. I have this knife, which I'm not sure if I'll need it, just to shape it, just in case. And I also have this plate, which I'll be plating the um, little taffy creations I'll be making um, instead of this tray. So, yeah, let's get to making them. So the first thing I am going to be making is a cake roll, and I'm not sure if it's going to be a cell or not, but yeah, so let's just try this out. Here are the colors I'll be using for the cake roll, and these supplies. So here are the balls of taffy of the colors that I'll be using. So yeah, let's make the cake roll. So here's my horrible cake roll. I know it's horrible because um, the taffy kind of turns a little bit harder to work with, but I still think it's okay, and I use some sprinkles as decoration. So I'll just be making the other um, things that I'm going to be making, and then I'll show you them and do a taste test. By the way, I've noticed that the taffy is sparkly, um, so that's really cool. It has kind of a little bit of glitter on it because it's rubbed off on my fingers and I was wondering why I had glitter on my fingers. So, yeah. 
So these were the stuff that I made. I did not use all the clay, by the way. I have a lot left, so. If I do make the, something with the rest, I'll be making a video on that, which is like a continue video. So I have the cake roll, which I showed you, which was a fail. I'll show the fail ones first. The donut, which was a fail. And then I started getting used to it, and I'll show you my favorite last. So I have this tiny little strawberry, which was okay. I have this little bunny, which is really tiny. This dumpling that I stuffed with sprinkles, so I really want to try that. And last, which is my favorite, this tiny frog. And I mixed colors so that I could create green. And again, I have a lot of clay left. As you can see, I have a lot, lot. So now um, I'm going to taste test it. So first thing that I have is the cake roll that I made. And I'll be putting down below in the description what they separately taste like. Because I don't want to individu individually just taste these. And I'll also tell you what they taste like when they're mixed together in a down bar. So just look in the down bar if you're interested. But I'll show you. Um, what they taste like together like this so it has little sprinkles and it just has blue white and yellow so I'm just gonna take a bite so this mainly tastes like ramen but the yellow probably tastes like orange or some kind of citrus fruit. And it tastes really good. It's really chewy. So, yeah, that was really good. Sprinkles! Next, we're going to try Little Froggy. He's my favorite, so it's sad to see him go, but... And my sister is also going to try some. It's really stretchy. And the green doesn't really have a distinct flavor. Kind of sour, but it's really good. So this was a mixed color. It did not come with green. And I mixed blue and yellow. So there's Froggy. And he's kind of sour. Um... But he's really good, so, yeah. So while my sister is tasting the blue, I'm going to be tasting this dumpling. And it's more of white, but it's filled with sprinkles, so I really want to try this. So I'm just going to bite him in half. The white doesn't really taste like anything, actually. All of these are really, like, a bit sour, but they're not that distinct. And the packaging has Japanese on it, so I don't know what the flavor is. But, yeah, she could have the other half. So, that's the dumpling, and they all basically taste the same, so I won't be taste testing all of these, the rest. Um, on camera, but all that's left is the bunny, the strawberry, and the donuts. So that's my poppin' cooking kit. Um, overall, this was really fun to make. You get a lot of taffy and sprinkles, so yeah, I love sprinkles. So I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!